Five minutes. Yeah, Carla. Thank you, Deputy. Um, Taoiseach, I want to invoke the name of Savita, as others have, and also the Citizens' Assembly, because I think there is no doubt, but only for the very strong pro-choice message that the Citizens' Assembly actually delivered, politicians within here wouldn't have gone as far as they were forced to go. But I have to say we, we should register who delivered the yes. If you look at the gender and youth quake that took place on Friday, um, for example, among female 18 to 24-year-olds, there was a 94% increase in voting compared to the 2016 general election. There was an increase in women voting in every single age and category, but particularly, obviously, among young people. And they persuaded others, you know, other generations, to uh, fall in with uh, a new uh, message. But the resounding message, I, I never doubted, actually, we could have. The battle wasn't winning the referendum. The battle was getting a referendum granted from this doll for the last five years. And once it got into the hands of ordinary people, I always had faith that we could persuade them that this change was necessary. Um, and there is a danger that we could see a rewriting of history, that you know politicians going on a journey delivered uh, this change. But actually, this has been a grassroots movement, for uh, particularly since the death of Savita, that built up. It isn't the case it was a quiet revolution, as you informed the world, uh, Taoiseach. It was actually quite a noisy one and quite a boisterous one. Uh, people went on strike. People marched. People obviously took civil disobedience actions to force this issue onto the political agenda in a relentless, relentless fashion. And the socialist left in the doll was the only reflection of that movement taking place for a long time, until recently. And uh, I think that now you've appealed to people to stay involved. It could be a dangerous uh, message for you to give out. I agree people should stay mobilised till we win free contraception. Proper sex education that's objective. The Solidarity Bill should be progressed now. But also other issues in relation to separation of church and state. But what about the housing crisis? We appeal to people to stay involved to tackle those issues, to stay mobilised to call the government out in the same way as we did on repeal. But also in the North on Thursday now, I'll be going to support the abortion pill bus being organised by Rosa. That's the next step to legalise abortion in the North.